Einar Peterson is one of the best trustees the museum has had. Not only is he generous, but he is truly passionate about the Nordic Heritage Museum, and it's great to have him on our team. There's one of the old halibut schooners. The fishing community in Ballard is a tight-knit community filled with Nordic heritage, and Einar is part of the old guard that helps us remember how important that is. My dad is amazing. If he wants to make something happen, it will happen. If you tell him no, he will find a way to do it, whatever that might be. So he can be pretty creative and he's very funny and very sweet and lovable. There I am right here. Peterson is my little brother. <laughs> he always has been. We, we had some good times together when we were kids. Both my parents were born in Norway. They were not wealthy. They were not even poor. They were very poor. And my dad lived with his grandparents who lived right next door to his parents. And when you look back and you look at the old house with the grass roof, I mean, it's really, really primitive. But Dad had an opportunity to come to the United States, so he did. Actually, he and his mother came across Canada with the boys and his sister. They came down into the Fremont area and rented a house. He had a very good childhood. We grew up sort of Norwegian, except for the fact that the only Norwegian phrases we actually learned were those that they did not want us to understand. My father, he was a fisherman here, and within five years, he was capable of purchasing a partnership share in a small halibut boat. And from there, he went on to build a lot of different boats. When I was a kid, I just rode in the back of the pickup down to the docks, and that was where I spent my day. I was my dad's painter. All I did was paint, paint all summer long. And then I fished every summer from uh, when I was nine years old till I was 25. We did a lot of fishing. I have been in two businesses throughout my life. One is the fishing business, and the other one is the sporting goods business. My first store was in Ballard. He's been a skier since as long as I've known, and he's taught ski school. He taught me to ski when I was four and the whole family. He started his sporting goods store and the ski school, I think in his early 20s. He had his mom working at the boot barn. I think she might have been his first employee. Right now I'm married to my wife, Emma. I met Emma on a blind date with my brother-in-law. He wasn't a brother-in-law at that time, but he was going with her sister. She's a great gal. Three months later, we were um, married and a week after that I was in Alaska for four months crab fishing. It was a busy time. It wasn't much time to let the grass grow under your feet. When this museum started my mom got interested in it at the very beginning and she worked all the time in the Norway room. My dad put a lot of the stuff that's in the fishing room right now, so they both really love this museum and like the fact that this museum was preserving a certain culture, which is very different than the culture in Norway today. When I retired from work, my mother said, Susan, you need something to do and I think you should go work at the museum. And I ended up on the board. So. And my brother was always saying, well, what's going on at the museum? Well, what's going on at the museum? What's, what are they doing down there? Are they making any progress? What are they doing? And so when my nine years were up, I said, Einer, I need a replacement. He said, okay, that's a good idea. So he joined the board. I know the museum is important to Einer because of his commitment to it in every way. I think very few people actually realize how many committees he's on. And I would tease him about that from time to time. What do you mean, Einer? Are you going to the museum again? Our meeting's not till tomorrow. Oh, well, I'm on the other committee. Einer has been a major force in taking us from the current museum into the new museum. And you've been in this project from the very beginning, haven't yes, you? Yeah. yeah. One of the things that Einer's most excited about 
when it comes to the new museum is where it's going to be located. Downtown Ballard, right on Market Street, a block away from the locks, on the way to Show Show and Golden Gardens. It's ideal for visibility and accessibility, and Einer is uh, thrilled with the location. Water on one side, and you got... Uh... It's a jewel. You have a piece of land that's that big and that much footage on Market Street. And so that is the biggest boost that the museum has had ever. But uh, we have to have some more money before we can start the construction. That's my lecture all the time is before we can build, we've got to have money. And you've got the opportunity. It's right in front of you. I know the Nordic Heritage Museum is very important to my dad. He's always been very proud to be Norwegian, very proud of his Nordic heritage. Every year we participate in the Sutton de Mai Parade. Lately we've been walking in the parade. My dad does that every year and he can usually gather some family members to join him. Einar Predersen is a tremendous guy, very respected man in the fishing community and the Norwegian community, and we need to have him in our in back pushing us, basically. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aina. That's, uh, that's tremendous. Hopefully, some of us can continue the way you have been doing it. He's just wonderful to be married to. I can't imagine being married to anyone else. Our life has been great, and we have a wonderful family, too. Dad, congratulations on uh, this award. You deserve it very much. And I'd like to thank you for always being there for us, being positive and supportive to uh, me and my family. So best of all, you have really influenced me in how I think about my culture and my family. It's really an honor having you. Einer, you've always been a good brother. You've always been a good partner and you've always been fun. So thank you for everything you've done in making the museum what it is today. <laughs>